In this example, we want to find the area of the region bounded by x equals to e to the y, x equals to y squared minus 5, and the region bounded between uh, y equals negative 1 and 1. Okay. All right, so we have, okay, so in this figure, okay, we have our, uh, we have our function here, okay, this is a, uh, so this is a parabola in terms of y, so that is a function in terms of y, and then we have x equals e to the y, okay, and y equals 1, and y equals negative 1, so this is the region, okay, this is the region where we want to find the area of, okay, all right, so to do this, okay, we have that the area, okay, is equal to, okay, um, since these functions are in terms of y, okay, uh, we can approach this using a, a horizontal represented piece. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and draw in that piece here. Okay, so this will be dy, so that means our integral must be in terms of y. Okay, so, okay, again, this is our region here, okay. So I got to sketch that part here. Okay. All right. So the integral is going to go from okay c to d, where c is minus one, d is one, and we have right minus less, right minus left. So it's going to be f of y minus g of y, okay, where f of y, okay, f of, f of y is the exponential function, which is here, the one that you see in blue, and g of y is the parabolic function, okay, all right, so let's go ahead and implement this. Okay, so we're going to have the integral from minus 1 to 1 of e to the y minus y squared minus 5 dy. Okay, so this is equal to the integral from minus 1 to 1 of e to the y minus y squared plus 5. Okay, so now we can go ahead and take the integral. So we're going to have the integral e to the y is just e to the y. Uh, the integral of y squared is going to be minus one third y cubed <clears throat> and then plus 5y. And we want to evaluate this from minus 1 to 1. Okay, all right, so we're going to get. Uh, e to the first power, which is just e minus one third plus five, okay, minus, okay, e to the negative one, okay, we plug in negative one and cube that, we're going to get minus one times negative one third, so that's going to give us a positive one third, and then minus five, okay. Okay, so we're going to get e minus one third plus five, distribute the negative, so we get minus, uh, e to the negative one can be written as one over e minus one third plus five. Okay, so this, okay, uh, we get 10 minus one third, that's gonna give us uh, 28 thirds. Okay. And then we have minus, or we can, yeah, we have minus 1 over e, okay, plus e. So this is the, uh, the area of the bounded region that you, that, that you see here, okay. All right, and if this was some application problems, 
or if this was for yeah particular application problem, uh, this would be uh, in units squared since we're dealing with area. Okay. All right. So that is the result.